The temperature brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen, 1-800-INJURED. You're watching the KSL 5 Eyewitness News at 5. He was gunning for me. Like, uh, like, a, like he was going to tackle me. A burglar and that business owner meet face to face and the burglar gets the worst of it. I started swinging and they started to swing back and we, we wrestled out the door. That break-in happened late Saturday night at a movie rental store in Orem. And police say the suspect has broken into several other businesses in the last few weeks. Sam Penrod has more from Utah County. The suspect's in jail tonight, but police have linked him to another break-in at the same store just two weeks ago. But this time, his attempt to steal money from the cash register was thwarted by the business owner himself. They're cleaning up at Cleanflix in Orem today after a burglar broke in and tore the place apart late Saturday night. And then I noticed him, a guy in a black hoodie standing there with my till. I'm like, wait a minute. I was like, did I leave the door unlocked? This Owner Daniel crazy. Thompson didn't have much time to think as the burglar charged him. He dropped the till and started to run for me, and I dropped my stuff. And then he grabbed me, trying to push me out of the way. Then I pushed him into my wall here. And then he started to swing at me, and I started to swing at him. That's when the two took it outside, and a couple in the parking lot saw what was going on and called 911. I yelled to, to call the police, and then they yelled at me. It's like, get off of him. I'm like, he, he robbed me. And um, they apparently called the police, and I, I tried to hold on to him um, as tight as I could. And he, he wrestled out of the, the, his sweatshirt. The suspect, 28-year-old Joe Weber, was caught by police a few minutes later. He was bleeding, apparently after breaking out this window, kicking down a shelf nailed to the wall, and crawling inside. Police say that is the same way we were got in two weeks ago, getting away with $140 in cash. This time, though, it was not as easy. As for the owner, he still can't figure out why someone would break into his store. I'm like, who robs clean flicks? And this morning in court, the suspect, who is now sporting a big black eye, told the judge he was the victim, that he was beat up in the parking lot for no reason. But the judge didn't buy it and said bail at $10,000. All right, thank you, Sam Penrod. Three robbery suspects, once considered armed and dangerous, are now behind bars in Salt Lake County. Sandra Yee is live near Mountain Dell Residence.